Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kompor, Malaysia. I have with me the Panasonic 15 f1.7 and an Olympus 17 f1.8. In this video, I'm gonna talk about which one of these lenses is suitable for you. Let's do this. One question that I get asked a lot is, Robin, which one of these lenses, the Panasonic 15 f1.7 or the Olympus 17 f1.8, is a better lens? Which one would you recommend for me to buy? Well, there is no easy answer to that question. There is no right and wrong, but I have owned and used these lenses for several years now for my professional shoots, for my street photography, and I actually use these lenses to make videos on this YouTube channel as well. Well. So based on my experience having used these lenses, I want to share some thoughts, the things that I like and dislike about these lenses, and maybe, and hopefully, this will help you in your decision making between these two lenses. Let's start by addressing the similarities between these two lenses. Both the Panasonic 15 and the Olympus 17, they are very compact in size and very lightweight in construction. They are both almost the same size. Pairing this with smaller macro four thirds camera bodies, these lenses are excellent for street photography. In terms of build quality, these lenses are very well constructed. The bodies are made of full metal and they feel very solid in hand, definitely premium grade quality, they don't feel cheap at all. I personally really love the design of both lenses, they look sleek, they are all in black, they are minimalist and they match very well with any of my Olympus or Panasonic camera bodies. Unfortunately, none of these lenses are weather sealed. I hope that in the future, both Olympus and Panasonic will update their versions of these lenses with full weather sealing. That will expand the, the capabilities and use scenarios for both these lenses. In terms of optical quality, both lenses perform really well. They are both very sharp shooting a wide open aperture f1.7, f1.8, stopping down further to f2.8 to f4 do get sharper results and the technical flaws such as purple fringing, corner softness, flare, distortion, they are very well controlled. Some of them are due to software correction but to me that's perfectly fine. You shouldn't see any severe problems with these lenses. If you find that one lens is better from the other, like slightly sharper, or maybe one lens has some poorer corner softness, these differences are so small. Trust me, they're almost negligible. However, I must add that I personally find there's something off with this Olympus 17's rendering, but we'll explore that a little bit later. There are several notable differences between these two lenses. On the Panasonic 15, you do get the aperture ring, which means you can control the F number on the lens itself. You can rotate the ring and control the aperture value, but this feature is only compatible with Panasonic camera bodies. If you use this Panasonic lens on any Olympus cameras, you don't get this feature, there's no compatibility, you can turn the aperture ring and nothing happens. I I don't know why this is the case. It could be Panasonic's fault, it could be Olympus' fault. Someone is at fault for not making this fully compatible between the lens and the camera. Now, the, on the Olympus lens, the 17 f1.8, they took a different approach. They have the manual focusing clutch. If you do a lot of manual focusing work, this manual focusing clutch can come in really handy. All you have to do is just quickly pull down the clutch and you can switch from autofocus to manual focus quickly and there is the distance scale on the lens itself to help you even further. 
So how do you choose between these two lenses, the Panasonic 15 and the Olympus 17? Well, to me, both are very different lenses. They have different focal lengths. The Panasonic 15, it corresponds closer to the classic wide-angle 28 millimeters. And I know it's not exactly the same, it is 30 millimeters in equivalent, but 28, 30, that's very close. And if you look at this Olympus 17, it corresponds closer to the 35 millimeters classic. I know, I know this is 34, 35, it's not exactly the same, but that's how I want to look at these lenses. The Panasonic 15 is more like a wide angle lens. It's more, I use it as a 28 millimeters and this Olympus 17, I use it as the classic 35 millimeters for street photography. We all have different preferences, we all have different shooting style. It all depends on what you want to do in your photography. If you need a wide angle, then the Panasonic 15 is the better lens. If you don't want your lens to be so wide, then the Olympus 17 is a better choice. If you ask me, hey Robin, which one of these two lenses do you prefer personally? My answer is the Panasonic 15. But do bear with me. Both are excellent lenses. They are both very well constructed. They're both very compact. They deliver sharp results. They both perform really well and they're both gems for Micro Four Thirds system. However, I personally prefer the Panasonic 15 because of two reasons. Number one, I don't like the 35 millimeters focal length and that's just me. I acknowledge that a lot of photographers, famous street photographers, they do wonderful work with a 35 millimeters lens. But that's just not me. I find that 35 millimeters is in the middle of nowhere, it's neither here nor there. If I were to shoot with something longer, I'll go with a 50 millimeters classic focal length for street photography, or just go wide, like the 28 millimeters or wider. That's why I personally prefer the Panasonic 15. I treat it like a 28 millimeters equivalent focal length. Reason number two is very, very subjective. The rendering of this lens, 17 f1.8, it looks unnatural. There's something wrong wrong with it, it doesn't look quite right. And I can't quite put my finger on what's wrong. <laughs> I think it's probably due to excessive distortion correction. The original image is heavily distorted and then there is some severe correction happening which made the images look somewhat out of proportion. I don't know if that makes sense. When I look at the images, they don't look right. And I don't have that problem with this Panasonic 15 f1.7. Images look like what they're supposed to be and they look very close to reality. The rendering looks very natural. And that's all I can say about these two lenses. If you don't see the problem that I see and maybe I'm just imagining things, do let me know if you find similar problems that I've encountered. I would like to hear from you in the comments below. Other than that, if you can ignore that, both are amazing lenses. You can't go wrong with any of these two lenses. They both deliver great results. For those of you who have owned either the Olympus 17 or the Panasonic 15, or if you have both, do share your thoughts about these lenses in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you found my sharing beneficial, if you've enjoyed looking at my photographs, please consider buying me a cup of coffee, or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how I can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me to continue making similar content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.